Let us pray. O God, you have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest as people make merry when dividing spoils for the yoke that burdened them the pole on their shoulder and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian for a child is born to us a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, 
God hero, father forever, prince of peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The seal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul. Do not forget all the gifts of God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting. Who pardons all your sins, heals all your ill, delivers your life from pit, surrounds you with compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting. The Lord does righteous deeds, brings justice to all the oppressed. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger, abounding in kindness. The Lord's kindness is everlasting. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on the faithful. But the Lord's kindness is forever toward the faithful from age to age. The Lord's kindness is A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, God who is rich in mercy because of the great love he has for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, God might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Queen of Mercy, you are comfort for the world and hope for the downcast. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph 
of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to Mary, the angel said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relation with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mabilis ang tugon ni Maria sa paaniyaya ng anghel. Pagkatapos na maipaliwanag sa kanya ang kadahilanan ng lahat ng kanyang narinig, ang tugo ni Maria, maganap sa akin ang lahat ng ito ayon sa iyong sinabi. Madali magtiwala kung kapanipaniwala ang taong nagsasabi nito. Mabilis tayong tumugon sa isang paanyaya kung alam nating kapanipaniwala ang taong nag-aanyaya sa atin. Kung alam nating hindi tayo mapapahamak. Kung alam nating walang mangyaring masama sa atin. At ito ang naramdaman ni Maria pagkatapos niyang marinig ang sinabi ng anghel, Huwag kang matakot, Maria. Ang lahat ng ito ay mangyayari dahil ito ang kaluuban ng Diyos. Madalas palagi nating sinasabi, Sundin natin ang kaluuban ng Diyos. Ngunit madalas din tayong nagdududa sa kapangyarihan at pagmamahal ng Panginoon Diyos. Palagi nating sinasabing nagtitiwala tayo sa kanyang kapangyarihan. Ngunit pag tayo'y nahaharap sa isang pagsubok, Diyos din ang una nating sinisisi. Bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Alalahanin natin na hindi rin naging madali ang buhay para kay Maria matapos niyang tanggapin ang paanyaya ng anghel para maging ina ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Maraming pagsubok, maraming paghihirap ang kaniyang naranasan. Kasama si San Jose at ang Panginoong Hesus. Ngunit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, 
ni hindi man lamang nabanggit ni Maria. Panginoon, bakit ganito? Ni hindi man lang pumasok sa kanyang isipan na umatras o sisihin ang Panginoon Diyos. Sa halip, palaging naaalala ni Maria ang sinabi ng Anghel, Huwag kang matakot. Ang lahat ay mangyayari dahil ito ang kaluuban ng Diyos. At ano pa ba ang pinakamaganda? Ano ba ang sinasabi nating the best thing that will happen to us except the will of God? We always say, God's plan is always the best. God's plan should always be followed. Ngunit tayo din ang naunang nagre-reklamo. Ito ang kulang na kulang sa ating buhay. Ang pananampalataya na tayo'y sasamahan ng Panginoon hanggang sa huli. Sa ating kinakaharap na krisis ngayon, marami na tayong naririnig na sisihan, galit, puot, pagdududa, nawawalan ng pag-asa, humihina ang pananampalataya. Nasaan na ang ating sinasabing magaganap ang lahat ayon sa kagustuhan o kaluuban ng Diyos. Ito ang dapat nating suriin muli sa ating sarili sapagkat ito ang ating nakalimutan. Sa pagdiriwang natin ngayon ng kapistahan ng mahal na Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag, atin muling sariwain ang tagpo Nung ang anghel ay nagpakita kay Maria at sinabi ang plano ng Diyos. Ito ang pinakamagandang plano ng Diyos para kay Maria at para sa atin. Kung anuman ang mga paghihirap kung anuman ang pagdududa na ating nararanasan ngayon, bahagi ito ng ating pagsunod sa Panginoong Hesus. Bahagi ito ng kaluuban ng Diyos. Hanggat tayo'y nagtitiwala, hanggat tayo'y nananalig na mayroong Diyos na gumagabay sa atin, Hinding-hindi tayo mapapahamak. Hinding-hindi tayo mawalan ng pag-asa. Ano ba ba ang silbi na tayo nagdarasal palagi pumaparito sa dambana ng birhen kung patuloy tayong magdududa? Iwaksi natin ang pagdududa at palitan ito ng pagtitiwala na mayroong Diyos na nagmamahal, gumagabay, at palaging nagmamalasakit sa bawat isa sa atin. Maganap nawa ang kaluuban ng Diyos para sa ating lahat at hilingin natin na tulungan tayo ng mahal na Birhen at ni San Jose na sundin ang kaluuban ng Diyos. Palaliminawa ng Panginoon ang ating pananampalataya at sumunod tayong mayroong pagtitiwala sapagkat alam natin, kasama natin ang Panginoon. Tumayo po tayo at ating ipahayag ang ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, 
Father, Father Almighty, Maker, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our model, let us pray to God and present our needs as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the members of the Church, may they look up to Mary as their mother and live as worthy children of so noble a mother. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that are God and Lord, may direct their minds and hearts according to His will for the true peace and freedom of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father, through the intercession of Mary, our Mother, will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who devoutly recite the rosary, may they be drawn closer to God through this prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, may we, like Mary, praise God, recognize His might and mercy, and remain faithful to him until death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we pray for the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your Son to be born of a woman, Mary. Grant that our devotion to her may draw us closer to your Son, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we become worthy of the eternal life he promises, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name. Consenting to the divine word, Mary became the mother of God. Embracing your saving will, she became the handmaid of the Lord, devoting herself to the life and work of your Son. Mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption. Because of this, she stands before us, mother and model of the church. Now gathered by the Spirit with one voice, we join with Mary and all the saints in their triumphant hymn of praise. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom.
Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Eucharist we have proclaimed the death and resurrection of Christ. As we ponder these same mysteries in the Rosary, help us to proclaim them to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen Dagupan. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your Son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help all Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.